Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Welcome back to the World Series 2024. Back here today with another round number three, fresh off the uh, press from today. Just happened a few hours ago. This is the Red China Infantry. We're down in the bottom right of Sakura Forest, and this is Hummy. Up in the top left, he's got a very, very tall order. Today, to take down this man, this is the Green China Infantry. This is Marikar. He's still sticking with his trusty green, trying to harness uh, his vivid powers, I think. And uh, yeah, we're kicking off with an infantry mirror. I believe they'll be playing random reverse. I don't believe they'll be agreeing mirrors like the scuba set. A few people complain about that. I tend to agree, you know, it should have been, uh, it should have been forced random reverse now in hindsight. But now that set's over. Because in the end, that set happened to be all mirrors. And I, and I suppose some people said it was boring in the end. And uh, yeah, I tend to agree a little bit. Everything else has been random reverse. So uh, yeah, I think it's just by chance they've got an infantry mirror. Yeah, so we've got Marikar going for three doses, three supplies, double barracks. And then we've got Hummy going for double war factory. Straight through the middle. I think it's safe to say Marikar is the favorite here. I see him spamming every day. It looks like he's really, really on form, on fire. I mean, he's still good, but probably fair to say not the same level as uh, Marikar. With that said, though, this <laughs> could be a build order loss for Marikar because he's gone for like quite a greedy strat. He's got barracks all over the place. And then he's very quickly going to get rushed now by the double uh, War Factory spam of Hummy straight through the middle. And if there was one thing to kill this build that Hummy has done, sorry, Marikar has done, it probably would be this build that Hummy is doing. So can Hummy start himself off here with a very quick 1-0? Straight away, Marikar in a little bit of trouble. If he can stabilize, though, with this amount of infantry, start taking down the Flamers, will be okay, because behind this, he is getting the oils. But the the question is, can he, uh, can he stabilize? Where is the rest of the spam from Hummy? Is it because he hasn't got two perfect supplies that he's not able to keep up the spam? The supply here is sold by Marikar. He's lost one dozer in his base. Marikar has a dozer here, and he has one here. Tank hunter coming in. Another flamer here. There's a bunch of tank hunters, but the power's being hit. Flame wall is going. It is killing some infantry. There's an outpost here. And yeah, all the supplies of Marikar have now been taken out. Marikar is not collecting on any trucks just yet. I think he's using these trucks here to cause some splash damage. He does have a tank enter in his base though, Hummy. But Hummy's on three war factories now. Sorry, three uh, supplies. Not quite three war factories yet. Would be nice for Hummy if he gets that flamer in the back there and starts killing these, uh, these tech buildings. Would be good for him. With a barracks up in the top right. Yeah, Marika uh, starting off a little bit shaky here. I don't think he expected that double war factory straight through the middle. He's not collecting on any supply trucks still. He has a dozer here in the bottom left, ready to uh, ready to expand. Well, not expand, but ready to establish his supplies. He is now collecting on one truck back in the base. Bit of a tank gun to stand off there. Dozer makes a run for it for Marika up in the top right. Sort of troop crawler standing in the fire a little bit too long there, but actually it goes low, but it's not dead. I mean, he's just not reacting about this uh, Vet 2 tank enter inside of his base. One of the dozers there of Hummy gets picked off. All he needs to do is just kill that, and he can be back collecting on two trucks, but he's also getting hit here. So maybe after all this build order. Seems to be losing steam. Seems not quite to be working out because actually uh, Marikar's fought back a little bit here. But I suppose his base is going to get cleared. Yeah, it's a very uh, action-packed game here. Edgy of seat kind of stuff. Don't know who's going to come out on top. And if Hummy gets himself a 1-0 as well. I saw he was uh, practicing today. He was warming up against players such as Real. I think I saw. If you know that guy, probably haven't seen too much of that guy real actually, but he is he is very decent in my opinion. Yep, 
Yeah. I think Ami will lose this bunker, but the uh, minigunner inside should be able to clear these remaining tank enters. And, uh... Yeah, how much money does Marika have? 1.7k, and he's living off three oils because he doesn't have that extra oil yet. So it looks like he's got a lot of dots on the map and stuff, but... Like, these powers, bunkers... Like, th three oils... I mean, having three oils is good on top of your supplies, but having just three oils as your main economy is not the greatest. It'd be really good for Hermie if he can clear this position completely so he doesn't have to worry about it, so he can just focus on the flanks. And he needs to keep Marikar off the bottom left and top right supplies. But Hermie is losing the war factory here. Is continually not reacting to the attacks on his base. I think those two units should have gone after this. I don't agree with just ignoring it. Is he dozed? No, he has a has a dozer in a bunker here. See, now he's bringing that back. That's just very, very slow reactions. Now he's going back again. <laughs> Indecisive, to say the least. Power's been picked off. I think Marikar's fighting back here. Just, just literally by sending a few units in the, in the base... I mean, he's just not reacting, and it's just clearing him up. I get that he's under pressure. He wants to take down... Uh, he wants to finish Marikar, considering he's just lost his entire base. But all you had to do, just drop a bunker there instead of that one. Or just react to it. But he's not reacted, and he's lost nearly everything just due to one outpost and that one tank enter over there. problem always is that I think Marikar's always had a dozer, or has he just lost a dozer? I actually can't see any Marikar dozers out now, to be fair. So maybe, maybe Marikar's dozed, but again, if, if he'd have just reacted to this in the first place, this would not be happening. These uh, units are just getting way, way too much. I mean, he's losing, I think, his last dozer. He's stuck in a little bit of an awkward position. Marikar sending more units that way. Seems like Marikar has held, although I'm pretty sure that he is dozed as well. I think, uh... Well, I know. Sorry, I say as well. I mean, get this one alive. Yeah, crazy, uh... Crazy first game here. Sold Troop Crawler is out. Well, Hermes is still the one with the dozer, so if he can somehow get back his base... Just start building bunkers and bunker up. Should be a win. Problem is, can he get back uh, into his base? He has no war factory. This dose is moving really slowly. He's struggling to build this power. But again, just this one outpost. Hmm... Yeah, Hummy just, just seems to have the cash from the refineries and the, uh, the and the oils. The refineries making his vehicles cheaper, the oils giving him the income. Uh, it's still possible for Hummy, but... Not looking super likely, given all these units coming across the map. That dozer just needs like one or two hits and it is dead. Yeah, Hummy just needs a supply, a barracks, and make a ton of bunkers. That's probably the best bet for now. He does have all the infantry ready. But this dozer is getting dangerously close to these flamers. Artillery platform does help out a lot here. You can see it shooting over the mountain. I think Hummy just needs to pull every unit now, so including all of these, get everything back to base, because he's on the verge of losing here. But... With that said, is it is it already too late? Is it already GG? He spent all of his cash, I mean. Yeah, what what's he spent all of his cash on? He, ha he has an oil, so he does have income. But that does it. And a bit too close to the front lines. All of this is getting cleared up. I wonder if Hummy can clear this whole position and take it. It's possible now. He can migrate that way. He's trying to build a CC. I 
crazy first game. I did not expect this. But that Dozer's really living on the edge. He's got a 0% uh, CC. Needs to get it out of the way. He's going to die to the Flamer. And those Flames are getting awfully close to that Dozer. Still has a barracks up in the top right. Yeah, this Dozer just doesn't know what to do. It doesn't know where to go. I mean, it's taking over this position. But surely his those is going to die now. There's an outpost on the way. I mean, he's not reacting to it. Nah. This is, this is a throw, in my opinion. Honestly, this is a massive throw. If he got that CC up... It would probably be, be game. Because carpet and artillery... I think that would wipe America. Yeah, it would. It would it would wipe him. Carpet and artillery would have wiped him. So all he had to do was build a bunker there when he had the power. And then just build a CC in the middle. That's all, all you had to do. Just load up both bunkers. Go AFK until your CC's finished. Carpet and artillery on these, and you win the game. But it's easy to say as the observer. It is. <laughs> When you're in there fighting for the uh, for the World Series against top player like Marikar, it is uh, very different. So now it's a barracks of Hummy, supported by oils, versus a uh, war factory in a barracks by uh, America, supported by oils. Uh, but I don't think that that barracks is going to survive these flamers. There's quite a lot of flamers on the way. Plus the minigunners as well. Hami is bringing everything here, as he should. I would even be bringing literally everything, because you're, again, you're at the risk of losing here. I did not expect, expect a uh, wonky first game like this. The thing is, yeah, a bit anticlimactic there. I would have at least liked to see the you barracks die. Uh, Marikar could have just fought with the minigunners there. He didn't need to send the flamers in. The minigunners would have just wrecked all the infantry and then the flamers would have come in. Um, but GG, that was really, really fun and exciting. Uh, first game there, 1-0 for Marikar. But like I said, I do think that was a bit of a throw, to say the least, by uh, Hami. Okay, jumping into the next one. This is the uh, reverse, obviously. Well, I say reverse, it's the reverse of the spots. Still the same China mirror. This is the China infantry in the red. This is Hummy. And down at the bottom right, we have the green player. Also China infantry. This is Marika. Three doses again from Marika. I mean, probably considered doing the same build order again, but probably thought it didn't work out in the end. It would probably be expected. More, more expected that he might do it again. So he's changing it up. He's going for a Helix this time. Whereas Marika wants to play a... Uh, Longer Macquarie game or a, a more normal game, let's say. Barracks in his main base. Barracks by these oils. He's also challenging the bottom left oils. Let's count how many minigunners are in that. Looks like three minigunners. I think Hummy knows that the oils will be uh, gone after by Marika. So probably the best thing that this Licks can do is probably clear that position or maybe get uh, get the dozer and run. Uh, the problem is that there's three, there's three different dozers, so I don't know if you are going to hunt Marika with that because there's three dozers and there's many going to dotted around. Marika has now seen the Helix, so he should start queuing up many 
But Hami doesn't really care about the oils. He is just hitting the uh, the main base. Hitting the trucks. Does have three minigunners in there, remember? So this is why I counted him. Because he will wreck these. He needs the uh, minimum, like, four together to beat this now. I mean, he needs to be careful of that one. Otherwise, Marico will pounce and try and pick off one. Power getting hit. He looks going to fly back. Uh, Hammy's dozer got picked off in the top right. Second supply of Marikar gets picked off. Yeah, quite a lot of minigunners there now for Marikar, so he should be able to clear this up. And then uh, slowly start to rebuild, funded by the oils. It's quite quite a similar game in the sense that Hami's the one going for the aggression. Clearing the base, but Marikar's just naturally taking over the rest of the map. So then as soon as this gets cleared up and Marikar re-expands to his uh, supplies that he's lost, should be game because it'll be a massive cash boost for uh, Marikar. I mean, just making a run for it, but I suppose the action is happening over here. Got Marikar pushing into the base. Mig's now out for Hummy. He's building a CC. But it's a very compact base. He's not challenged the oils. Hammy's infantry just getting all picked off. Marikar just bunkering in, taking over the whole map. So that's the uh, remains of the Helix infantry. They're all cleared. The uh, winner of this one will go on to face either Tumstep or Staz. That game is still yet to be arranged. It's supposed to be happening maybe on the 6th of October. But remember, Staz broke his arm. Attempt on the dozers there. I think he's... I'm not sure how many he's got. He hasn't got that one. The CC's being built anyway, so it doesn't, doesn't matter anyway. He has one in his base as well, so Marikov's still got all of his dozers as far as I can see. But it's just easy pickings now, really, for Marikar. Look, he has 75% of the map. So, therefore, he has, like, a, a much more massive economy because he has both of the corners. I think Hummy's trying to those out, but he'll see the CC now. He might just even quit now, but Hummy does sometimes stay until the very end. But not in this case. It is 2-0. Yeah, the, f the first one <laughs> was a bit of a throw. The Helix thing, I don't know really if anywhere he went, it could have worked. It might have worked better if he went down to the bottom left, picked off a dozer, went into the main base, hunted the dozer and then unloaded. Is it realistic he could have picked off all three dozers? I don't really know, but that's one strat really. Usually if, if, the, if the player's gone two dozers, you can go in the main base, pick off both dozers, unload, and then just play a normal game from there uh, basically. So yeah. 204 Marikar. Okay, jumping into the next one up in the top right, we have the red USA Air Force for the player that is Hummy. Down in the bottom left, we've got the China, China Vanilla. But a green player, this is Marikar.
Hmm. Yeah, that's probably going to be hard for the China. Um, but on these big uh, macro maps when there's loads of oils, like on this one, uh, China does gain certain strengths. Like, uh, for example, he makes the red guards in twos. Easy for getting the oil. He's also got vet, vet one red guards, which should 1v1 the rangers. Hmm. Um, he's going for a... Probably a King Raptor. Maybe he was hoping that Hamid sold his CC and he could go for the Dozer Hunt. Because I don't know if I really agree with that for going for um, an airfield here. Because it takes two Raptors to kill one Gat. Two Raptors cost 2,200. One Gat costs 800. So... Yeah, to kill that first Gat, he's probably going to need to laser lock it a little bit and then finish it with the King Raptor. But but then the China can just spam loads and loads of Gats. And he, he is not going to be scared of these. See if that Gat gets up here. His Chinooks are in danger. But I suppose the, the Raptor can reload. Yeah, this is one of the maps where you see players keep their CC more than other maps. Lay's luck isn't quite working out. Hmm. I mean, it's possible with the King Raptor that he's flying around looking for uh, oil denies. Oh, he's used two raptors there on one dozer. Would have been better to kill one oil. Or at least maybe try and deny both of the oils would have been better. So he was purely banking on a dozer hunt strap, but he has the drone there. So it completely doesn't add up what Hummy's doing at all. I think nerves, poor strategy, some stuff like that might be coming into effect. There's no reason why two raptors need to hit a dozer in the main base right across the map, I don't think. But yeah, if he was picking off that oil and then coming in with the next strike and hitting the other oil, then I can totally get it. But the Raptors are eventually going to get shot down because the Gats are slowly pouring out. But uh, double Wolf Factory spam will be uh, soon on the way. Okay, two Raps and one Gat. That's a good ratio. And picks off the Flamer. Nice. Let's see what the next target is for these uh, for these raptors. For deleting like that oil, for example, if you get these gats out of the way, could be good. Raptors circling. Another flamer. Three raps on one gat. Mm. It's not the right ratio, but at least the gat's dead, I suppose, for free. This V now for Hermie has gotten in by the oil, but the Flamer is allowed to just get close. The flamer should 1v1 it. Which it does. Another Flamer kills another V as well. Uh, strategy center being built slowly. Why are the uh, Chinooks not collecting there anymore? Is it because this area was getting pushed by Gats earlier, maybe? Needs to have drones on these uh, Vs, by the way. They are so much better with the, just the scout drone. But he is wrecking the Gats so far, anyway. Because the scout drone it, it distracts the fire of the Gat. So the guy doesn't know where to shoot. Basically, it always shoots the uh, whatever's closest. So most of the time, it's the scout drone. Rancor trying to establish a gap defense. Uh, he is pushing on the right as well. Whilst Tommy is pushing here in the top left.
Yes, yeah, st still no scout drones here on these fees, which I find uh, a little bit crazy. There's a lot of green dots now on the map. I mean, it's starting to take control. I mean, he still has this. Still has these. Does have the strat now. I'm just confused why there's a supply there, but he's not collecting on it. And he's also doing three Chinooks here when that could be an extra supply. So he's not on, like, even remotely as much money as he could be. Should be two Chinooks there, two Chinooks there, and a supply and two Chinooks there. But not quite. Yeah, when there's a lot of money on the map, you're going to expect a, a massive gat spam. So eventually, the raptors are going to slowly get taken out. Here comes the mix. Ooh. Okay. Didn't actually kill that much, apart from, I think, a power and a dozer. But was that the last dozer? Don't tell me that was the last dozer. Uh, I think it was. I think it was the last dozer. See, he's hunted and low power. Is he low power? Low power. Yeah, he's hunted and low power. Okay, now the drones are in action. You see the drones being shot. Yeah, that's uh, really difficult now for Hummy. But against these players like Marika, you're going to have to play every inch of zero hour perfect. And I'm not convinced the Raptor play, the Raptor build is even necessary, to be honest. But still, like, he's only collected on one Chinook there. Doesn't have supply lines upgrade. Doesn't have advanced training. Didn't have drones on half of his Vs. So that is what happens, I'm afraid. It wrecked. Well, and I think China's strong on this map anyway. Like I said, with the capturing the oils from the beginning, I do think it's strong. I think the Air Force probably still should win. Because the support powers are so insane. But I do think China in general is pretty strong here. That's a nice uh, nice tower kill. Here comes the carpet. Ooh. Doesn't actually kill a lot in the end, but if those gas had stayed there... Then it would have killed, uh, killed a ton. We have a Colonel Burnout. Just killed this oil. And he's still giving it a go. But he's got a flamer in his base. He's flamed down his oil. And he is losing the airfield. He could Our base is also attack. upgrade that to Cold Fusion. So I don't think Hummy's playing on his, on his A game, to be honest. I think he's probably... I think he's either probably very nervous or... He, um... I forgot what I was going to say now. Yeah, I don't know. It's just... Yeah, sorry. I think he might have just realized that he's definitely lost regardless. So he's like, he's just not upgrading his power. Like, not, not trying fully anymore. I don't know. But now he's been defeated. Now his second power has gone down. But yeah, GG. Uh, Maricol there with exceptional players uh, with China as ever. And uh, takes his uh, games to... Th Three. Okay, down in the bottom left, we have the red China Vanilla for the player that is Hummy. And up at the top right, we've got the green USA Air Force for the player that is Marika. Marika needs four more. No, sorry, three more to win. Needs to get to six. Still the best of 11. From the next round, I believe it increases the best of 13. I mean, with the same build that Maricard did, however, his War Factory is in a more uh, aggressive position. And it might be to deny 
Anything that's coming for his oils. But it also might be very quickly to uh, try and get a gap tucked in the back here. For some harassment on these Chinooks. Ooh, Marokar's losing his first V there. Yeah, good engagement there for Hummy. Hummy's going to get one, two, three, four, five oils. But he sent two accidentally on this one. It should have been two here, not two on this one. Don't know if Marika lost that $1,000 or not. I wasn't watching his cash. Don't think it makes too much of a difference. When all these oils kick in, $1,000 becomes uh, a lot less uh, meaningful than on the other maps where you've only got like one oil. I mean, he needs to get his refinery then if he's going to queue up two red guards here. Guards to eventually get picked off. But yeah, again, you see the China actually do pretty well here. Just look at how much quicker you can take over this area. I suppose he just did focus on that from the beginning, though. Yeah, by building that war factory like quite close to his oils, but he still doesn't have this one. Does have his refinery now. Marikar's walking a ton of V's into red guards. Quite a few mistakes actually from Marikar this time. Losing his first V. Lost two there. Lost that one. Might have been paying attention elsewhere. Yeah, this bank is a really good defense. Nice flamer from Hummy. Nice pressure overall. Needs to keep up the pressure whilst also macroing up and eventually get to Napalm Mix. If he does all of that stuff, then I think he's in a good position. I still think he's in a good position even right now, actually. Up in the top left. Yeah, just hiding away. All of his units are getting repaired because he's got that repair bay down in the bottom right. This oil is just going to be preemptively shot down, but actually he could stop that. Could have stopped that and kept the oil because it did belong to him. I mean, I'm pushing in with three gats. But the Vs are building up in numbers. I think this is what we've been waiting for from Marikar. Hasn't really fully got his economy going. Now, the supplies are messed up here for Marikar. When you've got two supplies, like, quite close to each other like that, you need to get a supply there and a supply there. Because this one... Is a bit further. At least I think that's why. Because that one's a bit further than that one. Away from that supply. They're all congregating on that one. But what you can do is just click off two. And click on there at least. And even if they drop off back there. It's still better than four queued up on one supply. Marikar now pushing back with his Vs. Wolf actually's taken out. Truck's taken out. The supply has to be sold. Hummy opted for the prop first to get ECMs out and then is going to move into mix. Will that come back to bite him though? Because he's got ECMs out now, which yeah, good. But would it have been better to have gas on the ground now supported by mix? Because Napalm mix would be coming out right now. Look, it's getting this oil. A 
That's going to give Marikar a nice load of XP for killing the repair bay. He's now pushing out for Marikar. Another wolf actually going to be targeted here. Would like to see Marikar send a dozer to the top left. And also to this position and start expanding and getting some supplies. Yeah, often people are afraid to send a dozer into the corner, but you can see here clearly that it's like wide open. Marikar even has that oil, so he's got a bit of vision here. Migs are now out. Yeah, he can see that whole supply, that whole area is empty. But those could be going there. Nice A10. I wonder if that will fall that way, though. It's falling the other way. Maybe because he hit it directly on. Maybe if he shoot it that way. Just like a little bit to the front. But V's pushing through the middle. He doesn't have advanced training. Don't think it matters, though. He has drones. I'm not sure what a mix shot. <laughs> I think they were shooting a battle drone. He must have had that on attack move. Yeah, he's got a, He's got his mix on attack move. Oh, no. That is a... That is a bad error. <laughs> that is a bad, bad error. Yeah. Maybe he has them on guard mode. It's either guard mode or attack move. You can't do that when there's drones flying around. Otherwise, they do attack the drones. Okay, carpet and artillery comes in. Kills a war factory. And I think that was either power or barracks. Let me kill in the uh, oil in the top left. And Hami has been defeated. 4-0 there for Marikar. Okay, jumping into the next one. Down in the south position, we have the red USA Air Force again for Hami. Up at the top right, we have the China tank. In the green, this is Marikar. Wonder if we're going to see two no ecos here. It's looking like a no eco, but I think he's doing the more specialized no eco, which is a super fast strategy center. So it'd be one full V to start off with. Look at this wolf actually though, how slow it's going to be. Oh man. Every second counts here. You want to be getting it out ASAP. Don't know if you need to do this box. Don't really need to do this little cute box. Where's he going to build the strat? Is it going to be in front of there? Uh, it's just it's just too slow, man. Uh, every little second is adding up. Just going to allow a few more units for the tank to come out. It still might work, I suppose. America isn't across the the map yet but i just don't is the box needed against the tank it's not like tanks coming in with tech rpgs it's not like usa sending in a v to laser lock your stuff but i'd rather get all my stuff out five seconds sooner rather than uh do some fancy box Okay, first V has lost quite a lot of HP. But, Marikar's got to be thinking this doesn't fully look like a no eco. So Marikar, unless he's waypoint scouted, and that's all I saw. There's two things in my head. Primarily, I think he's gone for a normal build. But secondly, in my mind somewhere, 25% chance that he's done this uh, fast strategy center. Uh, and that's confirmed as soon as you see the carpet or search and destroy is deployed. And they're both coming now. Ideally, you want to kill something with the with the carpet, not just damage things. So the fact that that wolf actually is dead, that's good. Even with the few seconds delay, still looking really good for Hummy. I think he needs to get over there though and finish that. I think finishing that supply was more important than just picking off one extra unit. You yeah, finish off this and get that dozer. It'll make Marikar scared to expand. Yeah, that's actually looking pretty good for Hummy. All depends on the micro now. 
Power still in play. It's two ECMs, two Gats, one Outpost. But yeah, the V should be able to outrange them, but only just. The ECMs can still grab them and lock on. But there's more Vs being loaded up, and whilst Marikar is only on one supply... Yeah, it's harder to build up a, a real decent army for Marikar now. So, so far, so good for Hummy. Look at the XP difference. 708 versus 0. There's one of the Vs locked down, like I said. Still got to be careful. Even with the Search and Destroyer, you have to be careful against this composition. Marikar did really well to get that prop up nice and early. Another V joins the party, but I'm not convinced it's full. No, neither of them are full. There are two tank enters here too, and uh, Marikar looking like he wants to expand. Now the thing is, there's actually a Colonel Burton there, but also that carpet bomb, the cooldown on it is insane. So Marikar could get hit again. If he loses that dozer and starts getting his buildings bombed, then uh, even though this army's looking pretty decent for Marikar now, it can still go south very, very quick. Marikar's going to want a outpost out ASAP. But if Hemi gets that dozer and then just carpet bombs that war factory, then he just has to camp it out. But he's getting oils now as well. Yeah, it's looking pretty bad for Marikar. Where did the Colonel Burton go? He's here. The V's are going to hit the power. Marikar's going to move his units out. And then that Colonel Burton's going to wreck the... Oh, what's he doing? He took his shot off for a second. Is he going to die now? Okay, he gets here. Very, very lucky, though. Don't know uh, if that was a misclick or if he attacked, moved, maybe. But yeah, Marikar's now dozed. So when that carpet is off cooldown, which I'm very sure it's coming soon, then... Yeah, it's going to be very rough for Marikar because he's either going to lose a load of units, the prop or the war factory or all of those things. And Hummy behind this, yeah, he's gone for uh, two oils. Just needs to firebase up, wait for that carpet. Could wait for your CC as well. He is doing a good job of keeping Marikar contained in his base, though, because these Vs keep trying to come in. So Marikar has to chase. The Vs don't want to get trapped at the side of the map, though. The Vs are coming in. Oh, he's pulled the Gats out. Sorry, the, the Gats are coming in, I meant to say. Whoa, what a carpet. What a carpet. Yeah, the Gats move very quickly in a diagonal line. There's a, apparently a common gaming issue, where, which affects Zero Hour as well if you're moving a diagonal line. You move faster in a diagonal line than you do in a straight line. So those Vs had no chance there. Two Vs went down. But Marikar has been defeated. The uh, the carpet, the dozer hunt. You are victorious. And the Colonel Burton did it. So yeah, well played there to Hummy. I did think it was a little bit slow. And I think sometimes you will get punished there. But um, in that case, yeah, it worked. I don't think he still needed to box his, uh, box his dozer. I think that's unnecessary against the tank. I would still prefer to rush it out a few seconds sooner. But he, he uh, got the win there quite cleanly. And uh, yeah, gets uh, gets one on the scoreboard. Okay, jumping into reverse. Up at the top right, we have the red China tank for the player that is Hummy. Down in the bottom left with the green USA Air Force. This is Marikar. Yeah, I wondered if we're going to see a no eco. I do hope we're going to see that, to be honest, because I think it's the strongest strat. And I think there's a lot of money involved in the World Series. And I think if you're going to be... Fighting players like later on, like Big Size, Tumstep, Xcal, these kind of players, I think you're going to be needing to employ the best strats. So just because he's ahead, I don't think he should be sitting back. Um, doing a two supply build, which I think is vulnerable here to the tank. Because if you do two supply build here, you can get Gat sneaking here. You can get a Gat parked here and straight away it makes your, uh, makes your life a little bit of a misery, even if you are USA Air Force. So I think the strongest strat here... 
Honestly, is a no eco. Or maybe the strat Hammy did. So let's see what kind of micro we see from Marikar. If you watch x cows no eco, that first V comes out, gets loaded up with five missile defenders straight across the map. There was like a one or two second delay there with, with uh, Marikar. I think he missed one of the MDs or something. But it's still relatively quick. We're talking seconds here. Yeah, V's taking a bit of damage. There is an outpost here. That's V. Oh my god, he's lost his first V. We're just talking about the micro, and it's not perfect at all. Even from loading it up to uh, sending it across the map. Yeah, hung around there too long against two gats and an outpost. Probably would have been better ignoring most of that and just going for the trucks and then pulling back. But... Still, it can be uh, recovered. But he's, he's messing up things a little bit. Can't be helped to lose that MD, but like... This is a little bit messed up. He is building a Patriot in the base, which seems to be the meta nowadays. With the no eco, build a, uh, bring a dozer, start building a Patriot in the supply line. There is a prop trying to go up. That dozer has been stopped. Once that Patriot's up, this supply's dead. And it can probably reach that prop. So I don't know if it was worth pulling that back and building it more back here. Because I think... I wouldn't be surprised if that Patriot, or at least these Vs are going to kill it. It's not going to finish. So yeah, as painful as it was, it should have been cancelled and built back here. But it looks like we're going to see two no eco victories. Because uh, there's not many units out. These Vs are getting veterancy now too. Which makes them a little bit harder to kill. It's two dozers here, ready for the taking. ECM is out. He already pressed it, even though he lost the prop almost inst instantaneous. There's another ECM out too. But I don't think Marikov cares, because even if it locks on, the gas then not protected. He's got the superior numbers here. And that is a very fast no-eco victory there from Marikov. Not flawless, though. And I think the you reason we pick you. holes in all these tiny little details is you've got to think, how's that going to do against Excal? <laughs> the answer is, he'd get wrecked if he did that against Excal. <laughs> Probably. Um, but yeah, 5-1 is the score. Okay, so up at the top, we have the Red China Nuke for the player that is Hummy. Down in the south, it's Arctic Arena is the map. This is the uh, green. This is Marikar. Yeah, I think this and Blue Hole have very quickly become two of my favorite maps in the whole game. Probably in my top five or top ten maps of all time. Remember when Oil Rampage first came out? I really loved that. But it tends to be like uh, the longer maps are out, the more like novelty wears off, as with anything. So I suppose Arctic Arena is like popular now. But um, there probably will be a point when that becomes... Uh, a bit mundane or a bit overplayed, perhaps. Okay, so Nuke against Stealth. Mm, can be won both ways. We've seen Nuke win, I think, more often so far in this World Series against uh, GLA. When the all-important Overlord spam comes out. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven... Did I count that one? That'd be eight. Yeah, I think this is a good build. I also think keeping your uh, CC is good. I wouldn't have this dozer just lying out and about, though. Maybe tuck it behind there or keep it with, with some buildings or something. Because leaving it there, you're just uh, guaranteeing that a technical can kill it with a tech RPG. Is an empty tech though. I don't think Hummy is getting these oils very quick.
Like, I'm pretty sure he could have clicked on a few, but I suppose Marikar has denied that one. And this one's not being denied by Marikar, although he could do, but I think he's looking at this uh, battle master in his base. But Hummy wants to instantly get the red guards out from here again and start sending them for the oils. Very, very important. The oils on this map, you cannot ignore them. What did that just run over? It looked like a rebel, but I don't know if it was a hijacker. Yeah? yeah, I like this base setup. Uh, I like him making TNTs as well because they can run around here and fight off the uh, battle masters or at least keep them busy. Stinger sat on the left side. I also think that's an underused building. Very good at wrecking uh, battle masters. Yeah, there's the dozer. And now he's got a uh, scrapped up tech. Yeah, he might get a super tech. It depends if he can kill this dozer or not. The battle master is on the way. Another oil going to get denied. Could still get a super tech. Are we going to see scrap deny? He's going back for it. Then we're going to see scrap deny. Oh, mines. Okay. <laughs> That's one way to deal with it. Don't need to scrap deny. Yeah, I don't mind the mines on the CC, even quite early on once you've got a few oils, because you get a really big coverage. You get a coverage as big as the building. So, like airfields, command centers. War factories, these kind of things, you get a large amount of mines. So yeah, in the beginning, it's all about this oil grab. One, two, three, four, five for Hummy. Versus, I think, one, two, three, three only for Marikar so far. There is a hijacker out. It's going to steal this battle master, I think. Yep. Can now harass some trucks. Needs to be careful of the mines again. Marikar stole this and killed this. Yeah, getting these buildings here, very important. Uh, I also think that's quite an important building as well. It covers quite a nice area there. This soil hasn't been uh, taken by Marikar. Hijacker gets run over by the Flamer. Uh, Marikar has stolen a Flamer here now and uh, killing important buildings. One oil and the repair bay dead so far. This artillery platform is still annoying. Oh, I wonder if the artillery platform was going to save it, actually. It is. He should have tucked it behind. Oil's going to survive. But I think he's paying attention in other places. It's easy just to press F, which is flame wall there. And then look away. But to micro it around a little bit of extra uh, attention is required. Palace is now established deep in the back. Hiding away from a carpet and artillery later on. Yeah, I like that tunnel. Just the way he just picked off one oil and then goes back. I think that's good. Stingers again. Battle bus is already out. Yeah, the overlord spam hasn't started yet. Oh yeah, it has now. It's the first overlord. Not sure if there's a Jarman Kell out just yet. Second uh, arms dealer going up for Marikar now. Yeah, he's stuck on one arms dealer so far. Just a super fast uh, palace. And uh, yeah, investing in stingers and hijackers, which I think is the right thing. But yeah, Marikar's made a glaring error, which is uh, not taking that oil. Sean McKell is out and about. Sniping some uh, some guys, some tanks. Has been detected now, though. Needs to make a run for it. If he can survive long enough, though, he'll be able to snipe that Overlord in the end. Did he just shoot that guy, but he didn't die? He... ECM was dying then for a second. Flamer does get a load of workers. But 
Barbuses from America are now focusing on the top right. This oil will get picked off. There are mines here. Marco stepping on the mines. Now he knows. Balbus goes down. The overlords are here. Needs to get a subliminal messaging. Balbus completely goes down. For me, he's gaining ground on this left side. That oil, that oil in the middle now belongs to Marika. But he still hasn't taken this one. So if Marika finds a, a Lotus in his base from Hummy later on, then Hummy can uh, just take this and get the extra 1,000 bonus. Looks like she's heading towards the middle for now, though. Three battle buses out. That Overlord is dead. But these ba battle buses are not that fully loaded. Two battle buses down to the hole, but it does stop this Overlord army in its tracks. I think that nuke might be a bit premature, a bit too early. Would prefer probably a third war factory. Just spam all of the Overlords in the world across the map. Okay, this nuke makes are a good support, but we've seen time and time again, it's the Overlord spam that tends to win games. A lot of the time. But I think, yeah, he's rushing out Nuke Mix. He doesn't have an airfield just yet. But I definitely think this is a map of three, three Wolf actually spam. Look, he's floating about 6.7k. Carpet and artillery coming in. Marikar's finally getting that oil. Overlord free to Wolf Factory. It is not actually being targeted by the battle bus. It's getting a free kill here. Still no subliminal messaging from uh, Hummy. That's a, a good shot, but I did think, because he fired the carpet and artillery together, I did think uh, Marikar could have popped some quads somewhere and stopped the carpet like you usually see. Quite a few overlords out now. Battle buses running in. But a lot of battle buses going down this game. One deleted. Two deleted. Third one's down to the hole. Looks like the airfield might be saved. The nuke MIGs are up. Nuke will fire in four minutes. Just over. Yeah, I swear that could be in control for Hummy. Because he had a Lotus here, but she ran right and took that. John McKellen now back in action, but there is a troop crawler. Well played, bringing the troop crawler. He can take his overlord back. Yeah, 100 XP for each one of these tunnels, so you can quickly work out how fast it's going to be level 5. Wait, Jean McKell sniped the Lotus. But that oil still belongs to Hummy, but he needs these oils really because he lost his uh, top right ones. A few flamers dotted around. This oil in the middle still belongs to America. 200 XP for killing the uh, repair bay. Yeah, Nuke Mix is circling everywhere. America hasn't stolen power, has he? We missed it? No. Yeah, the Nuke Mix is just guarding everywhere. Maybe it's to stop the battle bus runs. That's probably what it's for. But there's no MiG supporting the, uh, the army. Probably at least one should be supporting the army. Because then you can just whole mode the buses and just run past them with the overlords. But if he's not supporting them, then uh, that can happen. And he's lost a lot of overlords there. At least three, but I think four. Three or four overlords. But here comes more. And Hummy's floating 13k. He should have even more. Like That's why the extra war factory should be down. Marikar's stolen a uh, overlord here on the left. But I think this is looking pretty good for Marikar. This is a quite a beautiful fight for him. And the Newt Migs are just nowhere to be seen. They're coming in now, but all of the, the overlords have already gone down. Those, those Newt Migs should be hitting the buses. Should be playing whack-a-mole. Should have them on guard air here. And as soon as the pop... Instant hit. Boom. Dead. And then move in with the Overlord DCM. Or run away. 
but I think he's lost too much army there and he was floating 13k at the same time. Marikar's building up the market count. He has uh, AP rockets. Hey, <laughs> it's not looking good for these overlords, is it? I would probably also like to see because he needs the cash soon. Well, even though he's got 12k. Get a supply here and start taking this supply. Now you've cleared it. And also get a Lotus back. See if he has a Lotus, actually. No, he doesn't have a Lotus. So, um... Needs to get a Lotus over here and capture these oils as he takes the ground. This oil died. Oh, that oil's taken still. America needs to get that one back. John McKell is back in action. He's slowly wearing down this army. Yeah, he's choosing to kill this oil rather than capture it. Yeah, Lewis could help detect stealth as well and detect the Jean Kel. And the Nuke Mix could finish it. Finish the Jean Kel. But even now, like these Nuke Mix here, they need to be uh, guarding air here. And then as soon as you see a Jarman or a Battle Burst, boom, dead. But he, I don't know what he's scared of. I think he's scared of a Battle Burst counter, maybe? Nuke Missile is ready. Battle Burst is a stealth. Okay, that, that's decent. That is decent. Got radar van, oil, buses, market down to the hole. Whoa. Yeah, that's what the mix should be doing. But the overlords are dead again. Yeah, but you see these nuke mix, the DPS, they dish out. Yeah, but it's a, it's a complete trade-off. They've both lost the majority of their army, but... That's not what you want to be doing as the nuke. Everything needs to be efficient. Amphrex bomb. It's going to kill Mix. One's, one's dead already. Can he take these off in time? I think he, he can force fire the ground and clear it. He can force fire the ground. Why is he not doing that? He's just standing in the radiation. I mean, they're going to repair, but yeah, you can, you can force fire the ground and get rid of this. He's doing it now. Here comes the artillery. Two markets dead. Radiation is still not cleared, actually. You need to fire really kind of dead center. Hmm, did that make die? <laughs> it must have died, yeah? It's not that one, because it was it was a Vet 1 MIG. I'm pretty sure it died. Wow. <laughs> Hijacker run over by an overlord. It's quite a big deal because uh, it's the difference between Marikar losing eight hundred dollars to the hijacker or taking a two thousand five hundred dollar unit, which it is with the speaker tower on top. Okay, major engagement again. No, I mean needs to win this engagement quite cleanly. Doesn't want to be trading off mutually assured destruction. For both of the armies, which he's slowly losing everything. He's flowing 13k once again. Yeah, I don't know if it can be won by Hummy anymore. He uh, is up against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 8 markets and an oil. Or two oils, rather. 
Yeah, that needs to be killed, actually, by Hummy. And uh, Hummy's out, no oils. Refinery oil. Holy moly, I think... Is he just neutroned it? I think he's just neutroned it. <laughs> he's got an overlord inside of there. And I also don't know if there was a another battle bus in there. Uh, I noticed Marikor's also got two palaces. He's got the safe stealth one at the back, but then also this one is uh, more of a bunker defense. Which I think that's pretty cool, actually, especially when you've got the cash for it. Um, he's now resorted to uh, battle masters because he's run running out of cash. But it already wasn't going that well for him. He wasn't able to break through with Overlord, so I don't think battle masters is going to work. To be honest, I don't think whatever he does here, I don't think he's uh, going to break through no matter what. Actually, because he's got he hasn't got the ca cash to continue. He can keep making battle masters, yeah, sure, and keep having to go, but. Ultimately, just look at the amount of markets, the amount of stealth stuff. I think everything's fully upgraded by the looks of it to uh, America. Yes, Junk Repair. Has that oil. Uh, that oil is dead, I suppose. And there is a nuke going to fire in 28 seconds. But apart from that, that's where the advantages end, I think. Oh, there's two oils in play for Hermie. Actually, yes, those two. Mine drop on the left. In case there's a, a bus push, maybe. Would have been better, maybe, just completely on the ramp. And <laughs> then just block the whole ramp. Lotus on the run from the fire. Yeah, nuke is ready, but... Black Lotus has been discovered. I, I think he knows he's lost. Unit lost. Oh. I thought he was trying to bait it out. I thought he was getting the Lotus detected on purpose. And then would nuke it. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's game now. Now it'll just be the slow destruction of the nuke. Yeah, I think it, it, his build order started perfectly. It's exactly the same build order I would have done. But his his first dozer was a little bit out in the open, which gave uh, Marikar super uh, scrapped up tech quite easily. I think some of his orders could have been captured a little bit quicker. But then I think that really fast nuke was the mistake. And floating 13k was also a mistake. Three or four war factories spend all of the cash on overlords, few ECMs, few troop crawlers mixed in, and just charge with some decent micro. And I think uh, from previous games we've seen that does work. You have been defeated. But now uh, Marikar has progressed through to the next round. Hummy has been eliminated from the World Series 2024. The players are becoming less and less and less every day. Marikar will now go home with at least $400 in the World Series, and Hummy will take away at least $75 for coming in the top 16. So, uh, yeah, GG. It's, it's always going to be hard against Marikar, regardless of uh, what Hummy did, to be honest, or what anyone does. Marikar was spamming and playing like a beast, so it was going to be a hard day for absolutely anyone. Probably very few people in the world <laughs> probably can beat Marikar right now. So, uh, yeah, commiserations to Hummy, but congrats to you, Marikar. GG, well played. Let me know if you want in the comments. I will see you in the next one.